Hi, I'm Randy Becker, an Applications Engineer with Agilent Technologies. How would you like to get more out of your mobile power amplifier? Today we're going to look at a new technique called envelope tracking designed to do just that. Traditionally, power amplifiers are most efficient when they're operated near their maximum rated output power. Unfortunately, with today's modern modulation formats like OFDM, we're not able to do that due to the high crest factor or high peak to average ratios. Hence, we have to operate them at a lower average power level to avoid clipping. To illustrate this concept, we're going to look at a simulation we did using our advanced design system software. So let's take a look at the results. The x-axis represents the power amplifier output power, while the y-axis represents the power amplifier efficiency. Each of the different curves represents a different power amplifier power supply voltage. Let's examine the bottom curve. Here you can see that in fact the power amplifier is most efficient at the higher output power levels. Unfortunately, as we discussed previously, to avoid clipping, we have to operate the power amplifier at a lower average power level. And this reduces efficiency and therefore reduces the battery life in the mobile handset. Envelope tracking is a new technique used to increase the power amplifier efficiency, among other things. How does it work? It works basically by increasing the power supply voltage of the power amplifier when the input signal level is larger and conversely decreasing the power supply voltage when the input signal level is lower. So let's go back and take a look at our uh, simulation results using an envelope tracking uh, power amplifier. As the output power is increasing and decreasing, we're also increasing and decreasing the power supply voltage. We're able to operate the power amplifier near its compression point for a large part of the operating range. So our new efficiency curve would look like this. We're definitely getting an increase in the amplifier efficiency. And this is a big deal because it directly increases the battery life in a mobile handset. Engineers in the industry have told us they require several key features for generating the required signals for testing envelope tracking power amplifiers. First of all, we need software that's going to generate the RF signal along with the envelope of that signal. We need synchronized equipment that will maintain synchronization even between power cycles. We'd also like real-time precision time adjustment of the time alignment between the RF signal and the envelope as this greatly influences the overall system performance. We'd like a shaping table where we can tailor the envelope for better operating efficiency, better linearity, and even better operating bandwidth. We'd like differential outputs for the envelope for better uh, noise rejection, and the solution needs to be cost effective where we can reuse e existing equipment that we have. So let's take a look at our uh, demo setup. On our table we have uh, a laptop running the Signal Studio LTE software. This software is used to create both the RF signal and the envelope. We're using LTE since this is one of the main drivers behind the envelope tracking technique. So we generate the baseband signal which goes into our MXG RF signal generator and we also generate the envelope of that RF signal which is downloaded into our 33500 series uh, ARV. Now for those of you that have tried the envelope tracking technique, you know that you need uh, wide bandwidths and you also need very strict uh, accuracy between the time alignment. And this is typically uh, required very expensive uh, baseband generators and ARBs. Well this little baseband generator, this ARB here, is very uh, high performance and can deliver on those requirements. And it's also very affordable, it's around 3K starting price, uh, so it's easy to upgrade your system. So what we do is we take the output of the MXG with the RF signal and we take the output of the 33500 with the uh, differential outputs and we're feeding those into our 90,000 series scope so that we can view the results simultaneously. So to start, I already have an uplink LTE signal loaded into my configuration here. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to focus on the envelope tracking capability. In the envelope tracking window, you can see that we have a shaping table, and in fact I have uh, different shaping tables already predefined, and I have full control over the number of uh, points that I would put in that table, but I can use this to optimize my device under test for better efficiency, better linearity, or even better operating bandwidth. 
Then if we look at this IQ waveform block, I can see a spectrum of my RF signal as well as a plot of the CCD characteristics. So the yellow line there would be the actual signal we're simulating while the blue one would be the reference of white Gaussian noise. And then let's take a look at the last block here. So the first part is the timing alignment. This is how I set the alignment between the RF signal and the envelope signal. And I can set this with a resolution of one picosecond. Also, I have control over the envelope voltages. So this is very important to get the scaling right for the device under test that you're working with. Once we're satisfied with our configuration, we press this button here, which will generate and then download the signals into the MXG and also the 33500 series waveform generator. Now what we'll see on the scope now, we have the yellow trace, which is the RF signal, and then you also see the blue trace and the red trace. This is the envelope signal, and there's two of them there because we have uh, differential outputs. This follows exactly the envelope of the RF waveform. Now if I go back to the LTE software, I'm just going to quickly adjust the time alignment so that you can see that we do have very precise control over the time alignment. So I'm going to increase the alignment here and you'll see that the envelope is now slightly ahead of the RF signal. And I can put it exactly back where it was before. You can adjust the alignment here to get optimal performance in your device under test. In this short video, we took a quick look at what envelope tracking is all about. We also looked at Agilent's solution for generating the stimulus for envelope tracking power amplifiers. If you'd like to try this in your own lab, you can download the software free for 30 days by going to the URL shown on the screen. By the way, we have a second video which covers the analysis of envelope tracking power amplifiers. And we'll show you how to make some of these measurements we looked at today automatically, including a number of other interesting measurements. Check it out. Thanks for watching.